latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 105 won the buzz joining us live right now. Good morning, you two. Morning. Morning, guys. Morning. All right, we got a new film trailer. Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds likely to be very funny. Talk to us <laughs> about Spirited. I'm so excited. The full trailer came out yesterday. All the ones up until this point have been teaser trailers. And we knew that it was based on A Christmas Carol, but we learned that Will Ferrell is playing Christmas Present, which how perfect is that? Because he is a Christmas present that just keeps giving. Uh, but so I'm excited about it. It looks so fabulous and fantastic. And then Will Ferrell, he's been doing the whole thing with the interview circuit. And he said when they first pitched him the movie and they were like, well, there's a lot of singing and dancing and it's a musical uh, that he was quiet for about 30 seconds. And they thought, well, he's not going to do it. And then he was like, that's it. I'm doing it. And he had to spend seven weeks learning how to do all the songs and dances. Uh, but I'm just really excited. It comes to theaters November 11th, and then it comes to Apple Plus on November 18th, which I got a new phone over the summer, and I waited and waited until I could get my free trial subscription so I could time it out just right. Wow. That, I did the same thing for the Apple, Apple TV show, The Morning Show. I did the same yeah. thing. So. Oh my gosh, those are veteran moves right there. You guys aren't rookies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then so Ryan Reynolds, is Scrooge? Is that... Yeah, I mean, he's somebody. He's in there. I don't know. He's they didn't somebody. say exactly who he is. I'm excited for the whole thing, though. And you've got Octavia Spencer. Like, you've just got an amazing cast. You've got singing. You've got dancing. Will Ferrell is a terrible singer in every movie that he's ever sang in. So I just want to see what happens. But he owns it. You I know, know. Yes. that's, that's the thing. Own it. Yeah, yeah. Like an elf when he's singing in the bathroom while she's in the shower. Like... <laughs> He does that moment when he was in Superstar with Molly Shannon years ago. Like, he always just has the most silly singing scene. So to do a whole film of it, I'm down. Yeah, that'll be fun. It'll be super fun. It's been a while well, since we've gotten a good Christmas movie, so that's good. It is. Yeah. And I'm not even a big fan of the Christmas Carol story. Like, I think my favorite rendition of the whole thing is a Mickey Mouse Christmas Carol. Uh, the Muppets, but, man. That's what I said. The Muppets, they totally win it. Listen, don't team up on me, guys. It's not, it's just facts. It was good That's, too. Your opinion is wrong. <laughs> oh, no. But a Christmas Carol is one of those stories that's been told so many times, and I'm actually looking forward to this movie. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're, you're, I would agree with all of you. It, it's been a while since there's been a Christmas movie where, where I'm like, I'm actually looking forward right. to it, you know? So I, I think this is, this will be good. This will be good. Um, all right, this next story is pretty funny. So, uh, Gail King revealed one weird thing that Oprah carries in her purse. What is this object that Oprah apparently has to have with her at all times? It's actually two things. She's got to oh. have both of them with her at all times. And it is truffle salt, which feels a little bougie that for me. That does seem quite and bougie. Then hot sauce so i think this is the equivalent of the rest of us carrying like lowry seasoning salt in our purse just to spice <laughs> something up kick it with some flavor uh, but they were doing the thing where they were talking about the oprah's favorite things list for the holidays and so like apparently she's just been carrying those in her purse for years and i love the idea of oprah having like a ten thousand twenty thousand dollar purse like a birkin or something and just opening it up Pulling out a Ziploc bag of hot sauce and seasoning <laughs> her own food. I don't think the hot sauce is in a Ziploc bag. I think. You think she's just going to let let it I just think, like lose yeah, hot no. sauce? Not yeah. in a twenty thousand dollar purse, Emma. No, no, no. You've got to have safety <laughs> protocol. Well, did Even you in my ten dollar purses Ziploc from Target, bag? I got Ziploc bags. <laughs> okay, I was like, I do not think the hot sauce is coming in a Ziploc bag. My question no. is, which type of hot sauce? Because. It you, really depends on the food, which hot sauce, whether it's sriracha, Cholula, mm. Tabasco. Don't forget at Dollar Tree, they've got a thing called Texas Pete for $1.25, which is fabulous and amazing on everything. But no, it doesn't come in a Ziploc baggie. Once you get the yeah, hot sauce or any the... of the food okay. items. Oh, you first, thought it was like just like hot like liquid yourself. in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> yeah. You didn't think, oh, no, 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 no. This is a, this is a double container situation. Yeah, I yeah, thought, yeah. I just thought oh. of the chaos that would ensue. <laughs> Oh, Look, who hasn't thrown a, bo a bag of Franzia in their purse at some point or another? So I can understand the confusion of thinking it came in its own bag. <laughs> is that Mike? Yeah, that's that's, that's <laughs> yeah. me. Well, uh. I mean, you got to put it in a Ziploc bag. That is safety protocol right there. But this makes me want to start carrying a fanny pack because I'm missing out on a whole bunch of things. I've been to a bunch of restaurants that could use some Frank's Red Hot that can mm. use 
you know, some seasoning salt or something like that. And I don't have a purse. So yeah, fanny pack maybe the way, be the way to go. You guys have pockets the size of Texas, so you're fine as far as being <laughs> able to transport. Emma, stuff. I stopped wearing cargo shorts years ago, okay? Oh, bring them back. Brassy, let's bring them back. I've only ever let's seen it from the waist up. Packs. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> oh, I think the uh, the truffle salt is honestly what cut. That is that's like but it's Oprah. that's like a, that's a humble flex right there. I carry yeah, truffle salt bougie. everywhere I go. Yeah, Very I've bougie. never had that. I don't even know I, what yeah, it would taste like. Let alone <laughs> let alone it being in your purse at all times. All right, we're getting, I thought we're a truffle like the... was a dessert when I saw that. I was like, dessert is <laughs> all, and everyone's oh, like, no, does that go with my hot sauce? <laughs> all right, all oh, right, well. guys, we're getting the wrap. We gotta go, but we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Bye, and you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105 on the Buzz.